Hey guys, so as you can see, if you can see this, uh, it says Super Crazy Loom. And what you're thinking, what, what, what about Super Crazy Loom? Well, as you saw, if you saw, but if you guys want to see, um, I did a re like an unboxing of the Super Crazy Loom. And I did say in that video I was going to do a review kind of thing on it and show you guys more about it. Um, but I cannot show you guys the bands, sorry, but I, because I already opened them up and possibly used part of them, most of them, all of them, um, <laughs> but I can show you guys the loom and the hook and what I think about it compared to other looms I have. So, let's get started. Ta-da, here it is. The new, oops, the new super crazy loom. If you can't see that, that's what it looks like. But... Day. I and other one of the crazy loom, and I was just using the comparison between the two. So this is this one, and this is this one. So if I'm sorry if you can't see this, but yeah. so here are the two. As you can see, the crazy loom has these little square pegs. The cra super crazy loom has these U pegs, and I love the U pegs now because at the crazy loom it would. The that bands would fall right off. It, it is terrible. But with this one, it's a lot better. So I really do like this. And see, as you can see, it's the same sort of shape as the crazy the grand balloon. So I really do like that because it just helps the bands and everything. Just it's amazing. And as you know, I will show you guys the hooks. But I did say I was just gonna be loom, but well, why not? She gets the hooks. Um, as you can see, they are the same. There is nothing different about them. They're just the same hook. Same old yellow hook. But if you did get the pink crazy loom, or the pink crazy loom, it did come with a pink hook, but it is the same. It's just a different color. So, yeah. Same exact hook with the little ball thing. I'm not sure what that ball thing is for. So, if you guys know why they put this little round thing on there, I'm not sure why, but they did, and I don't know. Um. So, as you can see, the hooks are very small. As you can see, they do not hold... And that, they barely hold one band. And I'll show you guys the, the bands that came with the Crazy Loom. I probably should be able to find some that came with the Super Crazy Loom, but that's going to be a little challenging. So, yeah. So let me get that. I have my little pile over here. And I'm not going to take them all out, but I just took some of them out. So I have the bands that came with the Crazy Loom. If you can see that, there's some of the bands that came with it. As you can see, they're very thick and they're very shiny. So those are some downsides, but and they're very shiny as you can see. If you can just go and fit them, they have very shiny bands. Um, and as as I just took a little bit of pile of it, you can see that there's all these different shades of colors. Like there's these light blues and this darker blue and this kind of more of a in between blue. And as you can see, there's a lot of different shades, so that's a plus, I guess. But there's, as you can see, there's no whites in here at all, and there's barely any blacks. As you can see, the blacks are even shiny, so that's not good. But it's it's okay because I have other bands. But you know, you sometimes people hope that the bands that they come with the kit are good, but these are very shiny, and not many people like that. So that's a big default, I guess you could say. Okay, there's one. This white band doesn't even go with this kit. This is a soup. Oh, well, here you go. This is a soup. Is this a super? Yeah. This is a super crazy loom band, and that's how thin it is. And this is the crazy loom. Do you see that? Are you seeing that with me? I'm seeing that. I don't like it. And as you can see, that crazy, the super crazy loom has that big. Let me show you guys. See that? No, the camera's not being liking me right now, but. If you see that, there's a big notch in there, and that is a very bad thing, because it means whatever made it is not good at making bands, because it's that big little bump right there. But the Crazy Loom, it did have a little bit of notch, but as you can see, the Super Crazy Loom bands didn't have that big, the, the Crazy Loom did not have that big. Actually, the Crazy Loom is a very thick band indeed. So, that just happened to be great that landed in there, but... So put that to the side. So, yeah. Those are the bands. You can put the crazy loom. Some of these outside. These 
kind of focus on the looms now. Sort of. There's the looms. So this is three. One, two, three. And this is six. One, two, three, four, five, six. The bad thing about the Super Creature Loom, it cannot go into a staggered figure configuration. So that does limit your bracelets or whatever they're going to make. A limit them down. But I think it's really cool that it does this because you can like come up with all these great new bracelet designs and big wide bracelets, six peg bracelets, which are so, so cool, I think. And I hope you all think that too. So if I could give this a rating from 1 to 10 of 1 being the worst, 10 being the best, I would give this... I'm going to have to take away some, I'm going to have to take away one because of it cannot, it cannot, um, it cannot, um, split up, which I think is very bad, but there is a plus to that because it can connect to other looms, as you can see, and so can the crazy loom. As you can see, there has these little notches that connect, so that's also a good thing. So I'm going to have to give this a, and there's also a downfalls because if you can tell, it's a very, very bendable loom, but I don't think you guys can tell that much because I'm not really bending it that well, but yes. Oh, and, and, you guys gotta see this, watch. The pegs bend, like, are you guys not seeing that? The pegs bend, like, they literally bend when you're making a bracelet. So, these pegs are not that great. But on the other hand, the crazy loom pegs, they do not bend whatsoever. Like, this is, like, the stiffest peg in the world. I'm not even joking you, like, it's not even bending on me. But then the super crazy loom, it bends. It really bends. The peg, it bends. Watch. As you see, it bends. So I think they tried to make it where it wasn't going to bend as much right there with that little curve. But on the super crazy loom, as you can see, there's like a whole big U, which really does help this loom. Um, so, yeah. Um, hold on. My loom's turned around my way. But, yeah. So those are kind of like upsides and downsides about these two looms. Um... But if I were to choose one of these I had to get, I would probably choose the Super Crazy Loom. Just because you get the six rows of pegs, but I know they cannot change, but the Crazy Loom cannot change either. It's just one gigantic piece of plastic. So, but the Crazy Loom fits everybody's needs except for more rows, which all you need to buy, sorry, put the band on there. <laughs> all you need to buy is another, is another, um, is another loom, which you can just buy the rope, the pit, the the rope or whatever. You can buy just those if you want to. Um, so yeah, that's just my little things I think about these two great looms. I would probably choose this one, but because it comes with six rows and you wouldn't have to buy a second one, but it doesn't have the staggered configuration to it and does not change. So that's also a downside. But this one, you would have to buy a second loom to get the six rows as of the Super Crazy Loom. But this loom has a separate configuration, so that's really good. And as most, some of you guys, most of you guys are probably wondering, do these two looms connect? Can they, can these two looms, like, come together to make, like, a nine-row loom? And the answer is a no, which is very sad. I was so sad. But, as you can see, there's even on this side. But then when you come over, whoops this side they are very uneven so they're this crazy loom is still the longest loom I've ever seen and this crazy loom is probably the size of a rainbow loom which I'll count the pegs this one is 14 rows the pe 14 things all the way down so I'm not sure if the crazy loom has Okay, so they both have 14 rows, which is a good thing. But I'm not sure why they're different. It's just, I don't know. Oh, wow. Holy crap. The super crazy loom is higher up than the crazy loom. So there's a big height comparison. I'm sorry, I can't show you guys that much, but I'll try to give you guys a side view. Let's see what, whoa, what's wrong with this? Okay, this is a weird, really weird view. Okay, well, let me do something. This is very hard because the super crazy has six rows of pegs, so it's like, see how much that is? That's that, that's crazy. See how much higher that is? That's that's insane. So yeah, that's just I don't know how that's gonna matter, but 
probably the super prism can hold way more bands. See how long that row is compared to the crazy loom where it's there's even a U, so it could so it's pretty much just that little tiny dip, which I don't like about that. But you know, yeah, it's not really good. Oh wow, wow. All right, so this is another thing I just figured out. <laughs> Okay, so this says the it says super it says crazy loom on it as you can see, crazy loom and crazy art whatever. Right there, you guys can see that. Oops, sorry. It's an upside down. Okay, I'm not sure you can see that that well, but there you go. That and the rainbow loom also has it. Oh, let me show you. This. It says rainbow. There we go, rainbow loom. And it has on these pit, the ones as you can see, rainbow loom, whatever. And it has it on this one too. And so those two both have their markings that shows that they're really their loom or whatever. But the super crazy loom does not. If you can see, there's no thing whatsoever that says super crazy loom whatsoever on this loom. Which, hold on, let me look. Oh, whoops, sorry. Okay. Eh, wait. I don't know. I don't think it says, don't think it says super crazy, but it just says all rights reserved, blah, 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 blah. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, right there. Right there. It says all rights reserved or whatever. Right there. But then it has this, which I can't quite read that. Oh, it says that. And then I'll get the light on there. Right where you see it says this. Oh, never mind. It says crazy art there, so my bad. It does. And China made in China. And yeah, so it does say it. Never mind, my bad. But it is not as noticeable. As you can see, it took me a long time to find it. But this one, it's very obvious. It's just right smack dab there. But the rainbow balloon one is Oh! <laughs> my bad. It doesn't it says it on here even rainbow balloon. And blah, blah, blah. So, it does say it on the room. A lot more noticeable than it does on the Super Crazy Loom. So, that was kind of my introduction to the Crazy Loom, Super Crazy Loom, right? Loom kind of thing. So, I hope you enjoy. Please like, comment, subscribe if you guys liked my thing on the Super Crazy Loom. So, toodles. Please comment, subscribe, and subscribe to my channel if you guys would love to see more tutorials. And if you guys want to see the unboxing of the Crazy Loom and the Super Crazy Loom, Please subscribe and you guys may watch that. So I hope you enjoyed. Please, please like this video. And if I get to at least 100 subscribers, I will probably make a giveaway. Um, I will make a giveaway video for that. So please help me with that. I really would love that. So yeah. Bye.